Today, I don't have an introduction for you. I'm going to dive right in because you may be missing a lot of tasks in your to-do app, and I'm going to share with you what I've learned and how you're going to get them back. Let's get started. When you're in Outlook and you have, you flag an email or you create a task in Outlook that it will appear in the to-do app. Same thing with if you have multiple projects in Planner and you have been assigned to a task that it will appear in the to-do app. Well, with the recent update, many of my tasks are missing. I had like 50 of them here before and I had, you know, about 15 flagged emails. This is what I've learned. Any task that is older than 30 days are not syncing in the to-do app. So let me share a couple things what I try to do to get them back. When I was in Planner, I changed it to the grid mode and I went on and clicked on the filter and chose, you know, my name. So this looks like an Excel spreadsheet. So I try to go in here and, you know, drag this down like I would do in Excel. I'm trying to trigger a new modified date. Well, that didn't work. So I thought about what if I, you know, copy this um, project, this planner project, and hopefully trigger new, you know, a new date. That didn't work. So when I did my research, when I looked here, when I copied to a different plan, the assignments will not come over. The attachments will not come over. Same thing with com comments. So I thought about what if I tried to copy within the same plan? Well, when I did that, it was just a lot of extra work to do. So let me show you that. If I hit copy this task, well, I have to go through here and make some changes, you know, check. I don't know what, what, what I did in the previous one. So I wasn't comfortable with that. So that's not an option. If you like this level of details, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Microsoft tricks, tips, and news and limitations. So one of the things that I end up discovering, so I'll choose this one with five tips to customize Outlook your way. So I'm coming here and select low, change the priority back to medium. Let's go over and look at the to-do and there it made that change. That's a lot of work. And if you have a lot of, you know, assigned tasks, you know, via multiple projects, you're going to have to touch them one by one. There's a few other things that I wanted to share with you. So in um, the message center, the admin message center, it did say that, you know, to-do users would no longer be able to join shared lists from consumer accounts. So what they're really saying is no more sharing outside of your organization or outside of your tenant. And your tenant is your at track creation for E. So you no longer will be able to do that. Now, if any organizations share tasks with you, you will not see them anymore. So, you know, keep that in mind. If you've shared this with some of your, you know, clients, let them know that that task will not appear with them, you know, starting this happened in June um, of 2023. So I just want you to be aware of that. And why I'm talking about things that are being retired, the suggestion um, panel is also going away by the end of this month, which is August. So if I click here in the to do app and the suggestion pane here will go away. For Outlook flag emails, either in Outlook for the web or new Outlook, I recommend that you click on the filter button and choose flagged. Make sure you pin them so you can start to go in and unflag them 
and reflag them with the details that you had. If you had any task, just maybe click on one and add a space bar just to trigger the date. Now, you know that I am an advocate for getting rid of a bandit task. I still true to that, but not all tasks that are 30 days and older are abandoned. So I did give Microsoft that feedback that, you know, reconsider to change it from 30 days to two years, which aligns with the re most um, default retention policies. So I'll add the link to this post. Go ahead and make sure that you vote for this so we can um, don't have a lot of cleanup that we unnecessary cleanup we need to do. Well, if anyone has, you know, any suggestions on how to make these updates and trigger the uh, modified date to something more recent, so it appear in my to-do app, let me know. Um, Power Automate is really not an option because there's many users, including me, is not familiar enough to use Power Automate. And not using the to-do list is not an option as well. So if you have some solutions, put them in the comments. Now, work your magic.